somebody who uh, who treats this place like a house uh, on Helen and Douglas House is is, um, is opposite me right now. It's Matt. Good morning, Matt. Morning. Morning, Matt. Uh, you have got breathing apparatus on. You're in a, a wheelchair. I am. And can you can you tell me your condition? Uh, so I have a condition called Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is a mus- muscle wasting condition. Uh, and and when did this condition start, Matt? Uh, so I was diagnosed when I was five years old, and and yeah, and it's basically progressively got worse since then. And, and how old are you are now, Matt? Dave? I'm twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So, yes. so you, ha- how long have you been been coming to to Douglas House and maybe Helen House before that? I've been coming to Douglas House for about eight years. Um, I never went to Helen House, but I have heard it is amazing. Um, and we're, we're we're here right now, actually, in Helen House. We are, exactly, yeah. And you can hear the kids in the background having a whale of a time with their with their families. Yeah, definitely having fun. You you, uh, you love this place. I do. I love Douglas House. It's very sort of relaxed. Um, place um they get we have our care done but it's done in quite a nice relaxed way and there's no stress um and they're very supportive it's just a brilliant place uh, and without the support and the care of of douglas house where would that leave you matt uh, i would leave me a bit stuck really um, i do have full time care but it's quite nice sometimes just to just to come here to to get away from it all and just have a couple of days sort of respite basically um, yeah. but I think without that sort of backup and support it'd be a bit of a struggle uh, and just a little word on the staff that work here we, we've had them come along this morning to tell us how how proud they are of, of their work here at Helen and Douglas House and and and, and for them it's been a been a bit of an eye-opener on how passionate people are that work here and they say it's the world's best place to work and you can see that from now you've got your carer with you yep uh, who, who's this uh, this is Anna and what does Anna mean to you? Oh, Anna means a lot to me. Yeah, she, she's very nice. Yeah, very nice, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Anna, are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, Hi, yeah, good. Um, just, uh, just, now, Matt, you, you, you run a, your own business, I hear, as well, is that right? Yes, yeah, so I run a business. I don't know if I'm allowed to plug it, it or not. Go for it, give it a plug, um, yeah. I feel a bit bad, but anyway, um, uh, Moz Creation, um, so we do graphic design, web design and uh, animation. And, and you've just, uh, now how long have you been driving as well? You just, uh, have you got a car, is it recently, or? Uh, sorry, someone's um, driving well, around. Yeah, we basically just got a brand new car. Yeah. Um, free motability, which is good so I can get out and about Fantastic. a lot more, which is um, much better. And, and, so, and so when you come here, Douglas House uh, has got a bar. Of and we, we were here, uh, I think last week we were in the bar with a couple of, couple of guys there playing board games. Uh, and it just feels like a, just a, an ordinary place for you guys to hang out and chill out. Yeah, though less of the ball games, more of the drinking games. Well, <laughs> <than that. Yeah. laughs> but no, it's very nice to have that sort of sort of um, grown up as well atmosphere. So you're not limited to what you you can do. So they know that obviously the lads are over 18. Might want to drink sometimes. Yeah. Might want to go to the cinema. Might want to go somewhere. You know, out on a, out on the bat in the community. Um, and they're always very supportive at all glass and they'll go sort of above and beyond the sort of things um that's what we've been hearing out and about yeah, yeah. And, and and the thing is what uh, what i want you to sort of think about for, for somebody listening right now that that might think about donating uh that five pounds through the text number which i'll give, I'll give out in a second or calling uh, what's the one surprising thing about douglas house in your opinion that people wouldn't necessarily know um I think the most surprising thing is the the um think of the words, think of the words. Um, uh, t- t- just the way that it's not sort of a hospitalised environment. A lot of people think it's a very hospital orientated medical room, take place. Which on one hand it is, but on the other hand it's a very fun and um, fun place for people to to live better lives. And I think, you know, they should donate, so please donate as much as you possibly can. Matt, you put it so well, to live better lives. That's it. it you couldn't sum it up in, in any better way, I don't think, than saying those words, and live better lives. Yep. Matt, it's been a real pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, and have a nice day and back to the bar. Yep, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. That, that's Matt, who's, uh, who's on respite here. He's having a, a couple of days uh, days off and uh, with his carer. And, uh, and that's what people do. That's they, they come and live their lives here. And you can help that happen and continue to make that happen 
on 01865 796 777. And that's why we're asking you to dig deep at Helen and Douglas House on Helen and Douglas House FM.